Hey guys, it's me, Kush, and welcome back to Kush's Suffering, my suffering for your amusement. Today, we're going to be taking a movie that was a major failure last year, known by Slenderman, based on the creepypasta and video game. For me, um, my experience with creepypastas, if you follow my posts, I'm not exactly a creepypasta fan. I enjoy Slenderman as a character, but... Apart from him, I don't like any of the others, and even with Slenderman, I don't think he's that great. I think he's nice, but not amazing. This movie, I tried to see it in theaters, but I wasn't able to. A lot of people want me to review it for Kush is Suffering. People are saying, Kush, you gotta do Slenderman. Kush, you gotta do Slenderman. I saw the trailer when it came out, and I didn't think it was scary. But now it's time for me to review Slenderman. And with just the start of the movie... We have these guys. Hey, Tom! So, what's the plan tonight? Big plan. Hey, it's top secret. Oh, I see. A circle jerk? <laughs> hey, Claire. Hey, Cap. I don't know why, but something tells me these characters are going to be unlikable killing material. Did you tell them Dolores Constantino quit the team? Why? She's pregnant. What is she planning to do now? Whoa, 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 hold the phone. So you're telling me that you hear a girl got pregnant at a high school and you just have a, a face that's a little upset? Lady, a teenage girl got pregnant. She could have been raped or she could have been doing drugs, bad things, but you just have like a, eh, I don't really care. This is supposed to be a scary moment, right? Okay, I'm going to be scared. wasn't scary. It really wasn't. Was it supposed to be scary? I think it was, but sure as hell wasn't. Do you hear that? Hey mom? Dad? Hey mom? she's just a teenager, but still at her age, if you hear someone break into the house when you're home alone with your sibling, you don't go down there and check on it, you call the police! What the hell? I get this is supposed to be a scary moment, but could they brighten up the lighting a bit because I can barely see anything. Whoa, 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 hold the phone right there. So this was the guy who broke into their house when they were home alone and attacked them. He both trespassed and committed child abuse. The parents came and the police too. The police caught him. There were two wit witnesses to what happened, but the police were just like, eh, he can go back home. What the? What the living hell? How could the police be like that? How did those police get those jobs? 
This guy also gets drunk too at his house when his daughter's still around. Some he haunts, some he drives mad, and others he takes. Like, like what? We're 30 minutes into this movie, and I still don't give a crap about these characters. We don't know very much about them, and Slender Man, he's only there for a few seconds in each scene for these th first 30 minutes. And even with those, he's only a shadow or he's covered up by something. I know it's part of Slender Man's character to like stalk you, then attack you, but we want to see Slender Man coming out of the woods attacking people. We don't want to see these unlikable nobodies. Darn it, I wanted her to die. So, after you pick up the phone from an unknown, and you see that the creep is outside your door, you just open it? Yeah, go Slendy, go! Go, Slendy, go! This is the reason why we're watching this movie. We want to see Slender Man. Get rid of that annoying piece of trash. Go, Slendy, go! She was supposed to die! To die! To die! Even with that one nice scene, it's just too quick. Like, we need to see Slender Man in more action. It's just like, we're here to see Slender Man, and we have to get used to these uninteresting characters. So now they're kissing without any real character development, and when they're at one of their houses home alone too. This is really cringy. I'm really starting to think that these characters are on drugs. work on the lighting, damn it. It's not scary when I can't see anything. cool scene, despite it being very dark. Die, 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 ha! Good riddance! Thank you for sacrificing yourself, no one gave a crap about you or your edgy friends. In conclusion, 
This movie is so bad, it's funny. It's fun to watch because of how bad it is. It's called Slender Man, but Slender Man is barely in the movie. Even when he does make appearances, it's so brief and usually just in the form of a shadow or like these sticks or his tentacles. I will admit, the scene at the end with him was pretty cool, but besides that, the Slender Man scenes were pretty wasted. Not to mention, all these human characters are so, are so boring and unlikable, we barely know anything about them. And the good thing is, we see them all die, or just get locked up. Good. Good riddance. And besides the main four girls, every other character is so much more uninteresting than they are. They barely have enough screen time to make them likable, and we don't even know very much about them. The only reason we're really watching this movie is to see Slender Man. He's the only good character in this movie. So other people are just there to be freaked out or killed by Slender Man. Not only that, but the lighting is terrible. I know it's a scary movie, they go into dark areas, but still, you gotta make it good enough for people to see. I can barely see what's going on, and that's saying something because I have pretty good vision. And that the horror moments, they aren't even that scary, they're actually pretty funny at times. It's also really funny how in scary movies, we're supposed to root for the heroes to kill the villains, but here, we root for Slender Man because these characters are so uninteresting. So we're happy he won in the end and all these girls died or got locked up. Good. I didn't give a shit about them. And why call this movie Slender Man if he has so little screen time? This movie is really that bad. And I remember with the Slender Man game, it was simple. Collect the pieces of paper, don't get caught by Slender Man, the end. But here, we have nothing but total edgelords and just these flashes of things that aren't even scary, they're just weird. The thing about scary movies is that you're supposed to freak out, you're supposed to be like terrified, you're like having like nightmares for days, but here, you don't feel scared. Even with the jump scares, they aren't even that well portrayed. If you ask me, it should be called a comedy because it's so funny. <sighs> this isn't scary, you know, Slendy, you can come out now. <laughs> Sorry. Come on out. And turn on the lights too. Hey guys, it's me Kush, and thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you want updates for when I post new videos, please hit the bell icon so you're notified. If you have an idea for the show, please go to the comments below or send it to the email up here and I'll put it into consideration. Thank you again so much for watching and have a great day.